this is amazing. Here we go. We're going to do it. Eventually. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. A change of pace. Something out of the ordinary. This is not Java edition of the game. It is in fact the Bedrock edition and specifically Beta which now has this new logo right here and in the background we also have this new image for the beta testing version of Bedrock Edition. So what's happened is they've decided to put out a beta before the Java snapshots which I don't normally do and this one is just looking at the part from the Minecon vote which happened a couple of years ago to overhaul mountains, to add snowier snow and to add the goat mob into the game. So with these changes to the background there's also something inside of the menu if we go in and create a world for this video there will be a setting somewhere in here for the experimental. Here it is. You can see that they've now broken it up into different experiments that you can run. And Caves and Cliffs is the 1.17 update that we want to have a look at. This is really exciting, but you'll have to forgive me. I'm not quite used to playing beta, so it's taken me a while to fly around and found a Extreme Hills biome that has the goat spawning in them and it doesn't feel like the extreme hills biomes have changed much at all. I'm also using a seed finder to help me find these biomes and they appear to be identical to what I see on the map so that means that probably the generation is untouched at this point. Anyways the first thing we're going to look at is powder snow aka snowier snow. I don't know what the recipe for this is. This is how you make regular snow and I don't think you can actually look it up in bedrock edition but that doesn't seem to do anything or this and I've tried a couple of other combinations as well so let's check out what the powdered snow does now bear in mind I'm in creative mode but I can sort of move like I'm in survival so if we go up here and fly down into it you'll see that we actually sink slowly into the powdered snow and this stuff can kind of be like independent and floating like so if I then drop down I will actually move through the block which is really cool and we move a lot faster than cobweb but the speed of this might be kind of useful and I've just had an absolute idea that we should be throwing other entities what's the there it is look at that other entities will go through this thing as well and they drop out the bottom excellent so that's potentially like a a faster version of the cobweb delay that we might see useful in redstone contraptions and whatnot. Let's also compare it side by side with regular snow. You will see they look very similar but this is slightly softer and this is a little more harsh but I think if you were running along it would be pretty difficult to spot this unless you were intentionally looking for it. So if you're heading out into snowy areas on an SMP server be looking out for traps. This is very simple but there is one way you can prevent yourself from falling through and that is by using the leather boots. See, look, I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm not used to this menu at all. So if I wear leather boots and go up there and then drop down. Aha, look at me. I've been able to stand on this thing. Oh, my goodness me. Steve blinks. <laughs> he blinks in bedrock. That's so amazing. Oh, there it is again. So now if I take some of that amazing netherite boots and equip them. Nope, not as good as you thought, right? Also, I think I'm seeing something happen. Ah, when our head is inside of the block, there's a frost effect around the edge of the screen. That's fantastic. I really like that. Okay, more experiments. Other entities fall through these as well. There you go. What about the new goat as well? Or mountain goat. Yep, that one falls through. Apparently the goats are smart enough not to go in this stuff. So if we aggravate one... You're going to come after me, buddy. Oh, you're just going to go around in circles, are you? So I was just in survival mode, punching this goat, expecting it to attack me, but it didn't. So then I realized to show you this next bit, I guess I've got to put this fella in there. So apparently their pathfinding is smart enough that they won't go into the powdered snow and you jumped right out of there. Yep, yep, there it is, there it is. Okay, it walked out of there. Excellent. So we know that the goats won't walk over the top of this. And then you jump back in and then you went back out. Oh, this is too much fun. And reading over the patch notes again. Yeah, this is currently only available through the creative menu. So there is no crafting recipe for this. I did have a look for some naturally generating in a snowy area as well. That didn't seem to be a thing either. But this is a beta and I'm sure by the time this is ready... 
that this is going to probably be craftable and maybe discoverable out in the natural environment. I just totally blinked my eyes for way too long then. Now before we get to the goats, I just want to say if you're not subscribed, be sure to do so. I'm going to be covering all of the Java snapshots on this channel and possibly some of the beta ones as well when they come out like this before the Java ones. But yeah, if you want to stay updated on 1.17, subscribe. Oh my goodness me, I've got to start recording because I just found the coolest thing about these goats. Okay, what do we breed them with? We breed them with wheat. But this is amazing. Here we go. They're going to do it. Eventually. <laughs> I love the way they kind of dance a little more. Look at that. Oh, that time there was about, was it three or four? I got a whole explosion of about five of them a moment ago. So now they're a little more isolated. Oh my goodness me! That was like seven of them! <laughs> That's a really cool feature! What a great idea! So currently the goats spawn over in the extreme hills biome, but the patch notes suggest that they will find a permanent place for them later on, so that may not be the place they actually reside in 1.17. And I have been doing some experiments with these. Now, Bedrock is different from Java. I can't actually see the amount of health this has. But I can hit it a total of five times, which in theory is half a heart each time. And then it dies, which means two and a half hearts, which is not a lot at all. It is the same for the baby as well. Uh, however, if I hit it with a netherite sword, I'd expect that to do more than two and a half hearts of damage. So I'm not sure if it's just the damage system being different in Bedrock. Now it's said that goats are the kings of the mountains and that they apparently take reduced full damage. How and when and where they decide to jump I'm not entirely sure. That one's taken a fair leap. Are any going to come off of this way? So not one of them did which makes me think they know where they're going to jump to. That one came close. But to illustrate a point we can just drop them down like this and you'll see with only two and a half hearts of damage that thing fell really far, so they have reduced full damage. Okay, and this is 33 blocks up, so they have so much reduced that they can fall all of that, potentially with only with a couple of hearts. So from 34 blocks they die, from 33 blocks they can survive. So as I expressed earlier in the video, I can attack them and they don't attack back. I would expect that to change because they can ram trees and ram the players, apparently. It does say that they are mischievous and will knock you off the side of a mountain, so, you know, I'm going to hang out here for a minute and see what happens. Now, also in the patch notes, it says that they like to ram trees, and I just haven't seen this event happen at all by spawning them around naturally generated trees and then keeping them in a pen over here. I haven't seen them use their ram attack at all. Now, when they use this, when they ram a tree, that's supposedly how goat horns drop. So if this is going to be a useful item, it seems to currently do nothing, then I think that would be a really interesting way to farm these, to have them ram trees and then have to collect their drops. That sounds like it could be interesting. So doing some experimenting and seeing what other animals they interact with, I could have swore one of them just killed a cow. I mean, there's mm. lever on the ground here, right? They seem to ignore most other animals. There it is. It just tried to use the ram attack. Didn't ya? You just tried to kill that cow. Oh, there it is. Cool. We've seen the ram attack in action now. So yes, they do go after cows, it would seem. But for the most part, they seem to leave the other ones alone. Well, it's complete chaos now. Having spawned a bunch of other hostile creatures, I'm not seeing any others that they choose to attack. Also, it seems like they're both fine with pillagers and villagers. So without access to the sort of commands and testing that you can do in Java Edition, it's been a little bit hard to narrow down some of their behaviors and statistics, but, you know, there's very early beta, so there might not be much more to it than what we've seen in this video. And with this beta update, there are also a lot of bug fixes, but this mainly related to things that needed fixing on Bedrock, and since I normally cover Java, I'm not going to go into detail here. And that, my friends, pretty much brings us to the end of this video. It was interesting to check out these features. It's quite likely I missed a couple of details here and there because I find Bedrock kind of difficult to figure everything out with. We don't have the same sort of commands and I'm just kind of repeating myself. I've already said that. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hopefully soon we'll have a Java snapshot. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye bye.